Hey guys, it's Kate from AHealthyPassion.com and today I thought it'd be fun to do a video. It's Friday and I'm, I was thinking about doing a new series called Friday 5 where I share a quick video, a blog on five things that I am liking or have tried or don't like. Um, I've also gotten some email requests to share some supplements that I take, protein powders, things like that. So I will definitely throw that in uh, throughout the series. But today I just have five fun new things that I've tried this week that I want to share with you. So we'll get started. Um, the first one is this uh, Zerko. It's dark chocolate coconut water. Um, and I have seen a ton of stuff about this on the blog, um, throughout the blog world. I am a lover of coconut water, um, so I figured I'd like it anyways. But I know a lot of people who don't like it um, and who actually like this one. So I was really excited when I found it today at Target. Um, I thought it'd be cool to try. And actually, I was blown away. I think it tastes like chocolate milk, honestly. It does not taste watery at all. Um, that's one of the biggest complaints of coconut water is that it's too watery. Um, it has a lot of flavor, but the texture's off where this stuff is like almost thickened. And um, if you look at the ingredients, uh, it's coconut water, cane sugar, coconut cream. So that definitely helps probably uh, make it a little thicker. Um, I love it because coconut water is amazing for you. It has so many electrolytes, so many wonderful vitamins, minerals, um, and it's 110 calories for this bottle, but um, there's 18 grams of sugar, so it's definitely a splurge, but um, it's a great treat, and I've been enjoying it all day long. Um, I'm about halfway through the bottle, and I think I'm going to save the rest for tomorrow, but uh, definitely if you see this, I would recommend it. I think I paid $2 for it, so it's not super pricey, but it's delicious. So that's number one. Um, number two is granola. And um, this one's from Love Grown Foods. They sent me this a few weeks ago. Um, and of the three that I tried, the Apple Walnut Delight is my favorite. Um, it has coconut in it. So that really was what kind of attracted me to it in the first place. But I love Love Grown because it has um, the ingredients are gluten free oats, honey, walnuts, coconut, agave, uh, canola oil, which I'd rather see coconut oil. but can't have everything, I guess. Dried apples, sunflower seeds, pure vanilla, flax, cinnamon, and salt. So it reminds me of fall. It's got all the delicious fall flavors, the cinnamon, the apple, with the yummy addition of coconut. So I've been sprinkling this on my sweet potato oats in the morning, uh, my quinoa, my pumpkin quinoa, and it goes great um, also with just some almond milk and some cinnamon in the evening. So I love it. Um, if you see Love Grown, definitely give it a try. Okay, so product number three is another holiday product. I'm sure you all have seen this one before. It's the So Delicious Coconut Nog. Um, and we actually got it in at work last week, so I was so excited to try it. But um, I'm not a, a Nog fan. I've really only had it, I think, once. And um, I don't think I really liked it. But this stuff doesn't taste like eggnog at all. Um, it's just a really thick, creamy coconut milk with cinnamon, nutmeg, um, sugar. I mean, it's it's awesome. And... For a half a cup serving, it does have 14 grams of sugar, so it's not, again, something I'd indulge in every day, but it's a fun holiday treat. Um, I really want to try to bake with it, do some cookies, and also I think French toast would be delicious. So uh, stay tuned for some recipes using this, and if you see it, pick it up. It's delicious. Um, they also have a mint one, but I'm not a mint fan, so um, I chose to, to try the nog instead. So for my fourth uh, foodie item, I got... Um, Teddy peanut butter. Um, they actually sent me this as well. I've been getting some really neat products lately. Um, but I love it. Um, they sent me three jars, and this is the last one I have. I haven't opened it yet. Um, but I got two of the um, old-fashioned and then the, the creamy. Um, but the thing I like about Teddy is that it's uh, USDA certified organic, which if you're going to eat peanuts, definitely go for organic. Um, Peanuts are sprayed with aflatoxin and everything, so I always try and make sure that's the first thing I look for when I buy it. The second thing is, I don't think you can see, maybe you can, but it's super runny, and I love drippy nut butter. That's definitely my favorite thing, because um, I like to put my nut butter on oats, um, or to make peanut sauces, or as you saw today's post, peanut dressing, and Teddy's perfect for that. So, um, And also I love that the only ingredients on here are uh, organic roasted peanuts and salt. So you're not getting added sugar, you're not getting any added oil, nothing. It's delicious. So um, check out their website, Teddy, I think it's teddypeanutbutter.com. Um, they deliver, and I think it's like four bucks a jar. So it's 
really, really inexpensive for organic. So um, definitely check it out. All right, so I have one more thing, and this is not food. Um, this is nail polish. Um, this is Sinful Colors Professional. And I found it at Walgreens a few weeks ago. I was just in there grabbing some shampoo, and um, it was $1.99. I was, like, blown away by how cheap it was. And it has, um, this brand has a lot of great colors. Um, I think I have, like, seven of them now. Um, I have one on my fingers right now. I kind of like it. It's a little light for me. I'm more of a, a deep dark. But um, of all the ones I've tried, this one's my favorite. And it's called Gorgeous. So, um, but it's really fun for fall. It looks great on your nails. I'll have to paint my nails and post a picture next week. Um, but it's just, it's super fun and it's super inexpensive. And I'm really impressed by uh, how well it goes on. As an OPI user, I definitely don't go for drugstore nail polish often because it doesn't go on as well. It doesn't last as long. But this with a top coat lasts three or four days without chipping. And it also goes on kind of thin, which is nice because it dries quickly. I'm one to chip my nails often, so um, I really enjoy this stuff. So definitely check it out if you see it. Um, like I said, I got it at Walgreens, and it's wonderful. So yeah, that's my five for this Friday, and I'll uh, definitely be out searching for five more fun things to review next Friday. Um, if you want to leave comments below, let me know what your five favorite things are for this week. It could be food, it could be um, you know makeup, anything, workout clothes, workouts. Um, so yeah, definitely leave me some comments and let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, bye.